you need to tie yourself to the music you're playing as as seriously and as fundamentally as possible. Um, when I say tie yourself, I mean that you, that that your biggest excitement and strongest emotions is connected to that music. The reason I say you need to do that, of course, you don't need to because you don't need to play the violin. But if you want a life in viol in, in, in with playing the violin, I would say um, that that is what's going to sustain you. Um, my experience playing has been very varied and I've been very fortunate to have a huge amount of opportunity to play live, to play in lots of different settings, to record. But I would say that what makes me most happy or sad and what makes me feel the strongest is the music itself. The music in isolation, regardless of of anything that surrounds it. And uh, then there's little bits of practical advice like make sure that your work is regular, don't leave things to the last minute. I know some people are going to make that, that that's going to be an impossible thing for some people to do. Like it used to be for me sometimes, but, um, and also try to be as um, intelligent in your practice as possible, but recognize that some practice is just, just has to be done, doesn't have to be great practice. It can be practical and it can be um, just like kind of physical repetition. And there's other types of practice which have to be extremely focused and intelligent and kind of more problem solving category. Um, but paying attention to how you practice is one of the most important things you can do. I would hope that I had the strength to resist focusing on things that are easily quantifiable at the cost of things that in the long run have more nourishment for the soul, that actually give people a little bit of a helping hand in how to communicate with one another. One thing I would kind of a question I would put to everybody is that like once all is said and done people tend to say that relationships um, to their family, friends, partners, children, relationships are actually some of the most important things to us in our life and I don't understand why so little of education helps us deal with relationships. I think music doesn't solve problems, but I think it does help. They have a lot to give the world. And that's one thing I would kind of try to make sure every young musician is well aware of what power is in that. The power of being able to bring people together through an experience that is uplifting, that is um, 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 forcing a, a kind of um, like a, a surfacing of your your emotional state that's what music can do for people and you have the power to give people that experience uh, I would say to all musicians young musicians don't stay insular don't be playing for yourself or just for your colleagues don't stay within a box try to not proselytize but try to at least make available music that you think is great, you think is high quality, you think has integrity, give it to people, make it, share it as much as possible, share what you have.